This morning, as the temperature drops here in Georgia and really all around the country, people on social media say you can protect your exposed pipes with any large styrofoam cup. But the big question is, does that actually work? Sydney Deshaun from our sister station in Central Texas is here to verify. All of us probably have a Whataburger cup or any kind of styrofoam cup from a fast food place that we've tossed behind the seat. Our source is Sean Kelly, manager of facilities, safety and support services at Texas A&M University, Central Texas. Thousands of air bubbles inside this cup are what give it that insulating property. Obviously, when you fill it full of coffee, you don't burn your hands because that cup is insulating that heat from your hands. So it works the same way in reverse. You're putting that faucet inside that cup to keep that cold weather from getting inside the cup. That's why people are turning to styrofoam cups to insulate exposed pipes. It's not going to be as good as some of the actual products designed for use over your spigots outside the house. But if you don't have one and you have a Whataburger cup or a styrofoam cup of any sort, then certainly I would use that over nothing. But how does it all work? Here's how. Poke a hole in the bottom of the cup, put some kind of cord. I recommend a rubber band through there. Use I'm going to use a plastic cup as an example so you can see. So put a rubber band through that hole you've poked in the bottom of the cup. Then grab a, a pencil or a pen or any a stick, something off a tree, whatever. So to hold that rubber band from going into the cup, stretch that rubber band over the faucet, let it go. You might want to stack more than one because they're not very thick. So stack some cups together, poke a hole through it. So we can verify yes. Styrofoam makes sense. The cups can protect your pipes during a freeze. 